Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. This is the week of August 2nd, 2021. This is episode 115. This week, we're going to talk about the new Amazon patent, which is involves robots on the ground and robots up in the air, which is going to be interesting as well. We'll talk about EB coming up with a new tactical drone to do mapping for very large area. We'll talk about the DOT secretary that is looking at drones with uh, one of our friends, so we wanted to feature this. And then lastly, we'll give you a quick update on Pilot Institute. We've been busy and we've got a couple news for you, so let's get to it. Now let's talk about this Amazon patent. And this is kind of an interesting uh, design. Amazon is trying to combine unmanned ground robots with unmanned aircraft in order to make deliveries. And both of the systems would be in constant communication. They'd be outfitted with a bunch of sensors to avoid obstacles, to avoid people. You may have seen these things actually not from Amazon, but from other companies that are uh, the little, like a little uh, <laughs> Wally robot that's just kind of moving around. Uh, we, we've seen actually videos of people that uh, get them out of ditches because they get stuck. And so this is kind of the idea here in, in combining the um, the robot, the ground robots with the aircraft to make those deliveries. Now this is very close to what UPS has uh, planning uh, has been planning on doing with adding drones into the UPS trucks. In this case, Amazon is trying to get the truck driver out of the picture completely and just doing deliveries by using, well, nothing more than robots. Um, really interesting. I know a lot of people are always talking about Amazon. Every time there's new regulation, people talk about how uh, it's to let Amazon do their thing. Um, I know it's a bit of a conspiracy. I don't really think Amazon actually has that much power and, uh, and is really trying to take away our space. This is just my personal opinion, but, uh, but I do think this is, uh, well, this is a different approach. And uh, I still don't really believe in drone deliveries or of everyday product as being something that's uh, feasible. But again, it's just my personal opinion. Next thing this week is the uh, EB, EB TAC, Tactical uh, Drone, uh, T-A-C for Tactical Drone. This new platform is designed mostly for the military to do mapping missions for beyond visual line of sight operations. And this is a bit of a different world than what we talk about typically, but I think the, the technology usually that goes into the military eventually ends up uh, being used in the civilian world as well. So this is designed to be completely silent. So imagine having to uh, figure out doing some recon missions to go and figure out what uh, what is going on at quite a distance, then you would be able to send this thing. It's fully encrypted. Um, it's called a C2 functions. It's got a 90 minute flight time. It weights about 3.5 pounds, so very, very lightweight. And it has the ability to uh, do NDVI and RGB uh, um, capture, data capture. And it also has a very camo look. It features a camo uh, paint job on it. So um, Really interesting design as well from EB. EB has been creating these flying wings for a while. They're pretty popular with uh, mapping to do very large mapping missions. So uh, hopefully eventually we'll see this happening uh, in, the, in the civilian world and have this ability to do this. Next story, I wanted to feature this because uh, our friend Alex Suarez, he's the community engagement for Global Air Drone Academy, and he did a demo where the Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg, was uh, basically given drone stuff. And, and the reason I mention this is because quite often we talk about how there's a big disconnect between politicians and, uh, and rule makers and the people on the ground that fly drones like you and I. And um, I think it's important to mention that uh, at least there's some interest. I don't know if this is gonna make any changes, quite frankly, but uh, thanks to Alex for doing this, for uh, showing good side. Alex is a great guy. He's very involved, very young guy in this industry that has got a lot, a lot to offer and a lot of promises, I think. So I'm, I'm excited to uh, be talking about this for him. He actually basically put FPV goggles on, uh, on the Secretary Buttigieg and um, Kind of talked about you know what it takes to fly a drone. I, even Alex told me that he uh, he even got to fly a drone. So uh, again, thanks for doing that, Alex. Last thing, this week is some Pilot Institute news. We just hit 25,000 trust certificates. Uh, I think we're uh, one of the largest provider out there of trust certificates to date. Uh, we also are about to hit 100,000 students. Obviously, this is a big landmark for us. Uh, 
I want to get some ideas from you guys. What do you think we should do for 100,000 students? Maybe our 100,000 student or something else. Tell me what you think. Uh, but we are, we just rolled in a new service, which is pretty awesome, I think. We're offering free registration stickers to anyone that wants them. We just posted a, picture, a video earlier this week, and I'm going to put the link uh, up here so you can click on it. But the idea is we hate to see people getting caught into some schemes. And you may have seen them online uh, with registration. So we're helping people to go to the right place to register their drone. It's only $5. It can only be done on the FA Drone Zone website, which is a .gov website. And we are offering free stickers to um, help with awareness of the right place to um, to do your registration. So no credit card uh, needed, no gimmick. We, we don't need your credit card information. This is just to help the community make sure people go to the right place to register their drone. So that's it. That's all I have for this week. As always, leave a comment, um, subscribe, like, do everything that you do. I know a lot of you watch the channel that are not subscribed. If you want to get these notifications when we post new videos, this is a great way to do it. Plus, it helps us grow our channel and, uh, and get more views and reach more people as well. So uh, feel free to do this uh, if you haven't. That's all I have. See you guys next week.